Hello everybody, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to port forward your Minecraft Bedrock server so other people on different networks can join your Minecraft server. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a Minecraft Bedrock server and if you don't really have a Bedrock server I made a tutorial so it will be in the description if you need help on making a Bedrock server. But if you already have one simply go into the root folder of it and the first step is actually making sure that you can join your server. So the thing you want to do here is simply go ahead and double click the bedrock server.exe and this will start your server and then we will be able to go to Minecraft Bedrock and test out the server as well. So all you have to do is go and play and here we have friends here and you should see this in your land games and you can also go to your servers and add your IP address here to go ahead and try it. And we will be doing this because we will also be using our IP address a bit later. So to find your IP address, simply go ahead and search up for settings, like so. And you should be in your computer settings. Now simply go ahead and go to network and internet and go to properties. So you should see properties on the top here. And once in properties, simply go ahead and scroll down a tiny bit. And you should see your IP addresses. We will be using these two IP addresses today, but the first one is this one. This one is your computer's IP. And you simply want to copy it, go to Minecraft, paste it, I'll just name it anything, click save, and here we should have our server. If we click join server, we should be able to see locating server here. So that means we are able to join our server. So yes, this is how we get access to our Minecraft Bedrock server locally. But now we need to go ahead and bring this server to the public. So the way we do this is a bit different. Okay, so once we know that we are able to join our server using LAN and our computer's IP, you simply want to go ahead, I'll just delete this for now, and you want to go ahead and go to your settings again for your Wi-Fi and see this IP before default gateway. And this is how we're going to be port voting. So here you just simply want to keep this in mind or just copy it. And then you want to go to your web browser. With your web browser, you can do two things. You can go ahead and go to the top search, which is the one that actually activates domains and click enter. And this will bring you to your actual Wi-Fi hub here. Or if you don't know your IP here or if this doesn't work, as we can see here we have a bell one so just look up what your brand for your actual router is and simply go ahead and look up for example bell route uh, ip something like this of course change this by the company you have and you can see the same ip here that we have here so this is how you find your ip for your router so once you have access to this what you want to do is go to something called port forwarding. Now there is different ways of doing it per router and I do recommend you to actually look up the specific one for your router. But in most cases you need to find a setting which requires you to put your administrator password. So for example if we click this it will ask us for a password and this is what we want. To port forward it's a security feature so we need to have access to advanced settings which usually requires a password. So once you found the setting for your specific router Simply go ahead and put your password and then we'll be able to continue. Once you do this, all you want to do is simply go ahead and find a setting called port folding or just called port. There's different names for that. But here you can see a setting is called port folding here. So we'll just click this. And you should see a window that looks like this. Now most routers look like this so there won't be any much different especially as soon as we click this button here. Which is create a new rule. So all you want to do here is simply click something like new, around like that. And this you should be all familiar with if you have this in front of you right now. So the first thing is usually the name. So you want to name this anything. I'll just call it Bedrock Server. Here for the protocol, we can keep both. That's fine. And the ports. Now this is the difference with Minecraft Java. Here we can choose any ports. And if we go ahead and go to add server, this is the default port here. So we will just be using the default bedrock port. So 19132. If we go here, 19132. And if you have different 
like slots, all you want to do is repeat. So one nine one three two, and we just need to go here one nine one three two, and there you go. You just want to fill all of these with the same ports, and what you want to do here is enter your IP address, and this IP address is the same IP address that we used for Minecraft Bedrock, so to actually join our server. So it is this one right here. 192.168.225 So 9192 and, and then we go back to settings 168 And we keep doing this until we see 225 225 And then we just click create or save So we just click create Here it adds our port Make sure it is on And then click save and there you go. Now what happened here with this specific router? It added my computer name so we know that the IP was correct. But you should see something like this. Name on both Bedrock default port and the IP here. If you change this port, make sure that other people change their ports as well here. Okay. So what's currently going on here is that we have activated port forwarding. And all we can do here is test out if our port forwarding works. And the way you do this is simply by going to a new tab and searching up things like what's my IP, for example, well, because you need to know what your public IP is. And that's the IP we'd be giving other people. So you simply do what's my IP. And we can see that our IP is this, or if this, this doesn't work for you, we have this website here, which I will have linked in the description. What's my IP.org. That one's pretty good. All you want to do is simply reload and this will give you your new IP. So you simply want to go ahead and find your IP and just Copy it. There you go. And then we can go to Minecraft Bedrock, add server, click in. See, this is a different IP. We can name it anything and click save. And now what you want to do is go and join server and it works. There you go. It just works with this new IP address. So that is how we port forward. And if you want to make sure that it works great for other people and it is just not a fluke or something, you can simply go ahead and go to your web browser again. You can go and search up your actual like IP. So you, you can do like Minecraft server status. I will have this website in the description as well. This one here, mcserverstat.us. And all you want to do is simply paste this in. And if you act bedrock server here, it should just work. Here it is. Dedicated server 010. And here we have our version. So this is how it works. And if you have a different port, you will have to add your port after this. So yeah. So here we know that this works because we have our thing. And as we are not hosting the servers here, we know that somewhere outside of our network, it is able to be found. That means it worked. So yeah, that's how we port forward for Minecraft Bedrock servers. So it's night time now. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.